Today I'm at Cerro Magnetics Incorporated, where they're developing a technology that promises to deliver clean and renewable energy on a global scale. Let's go inside and find out more. John Searle claims to have developed an alternative energy machine as early as 1946. It was while working as an electrical apprentice in England that Searle accidentally discovered the principles behind his Searle effect generator. Professor Searle was unable to attend our meeting due to health reasons, but I got to sit down with Fernando Morris and Jason Brabelli of Searle Magnetics to discuss this promising invention. Professor John Searle is a man who, back in 1946, as a 14-year-old, was employed by British Rewind Electric Repairs Limited in London, England. And it's there at the electric company where Professor Searle was able to develop his ideas on magnetism to develop his electric generator called the SEG, or the Searle Effect Generator. Well, the SEG is a revolutionary electrical generator. It's actually a converter of ambient energy and this is a new process that the current industry is not uh, utilizing. So what we have now with uh, Searle Magnetics is the opportunity to develop a new form of technology that promises to be the solution to the energy crisis. Unlimited energy, energy that is all around us, it's ambient, it just needs to be converted. Yeah, what you're looking at is the SEG mock-up. And we see the merits of the technology taking place right here. You see freedom of movement, and that's what you need, is relative motion with any generator. But John always, John, Professor John Searle always, always described that the generator does not make noise, but it is here because it is a mock-up. So we need to further investigate how is that possible. And we've done that with another demonstration unit that isolates this effect. This is a setup that allows us to prove and demonstrate that this technology does have what's called a magnetic bearing incorporated into its design. The ring, relatively speaking, we still have the same relative motion, but we're isolating the effect between the surface of this large ring, which is a stator, and the roller itself. As you can see, it's free to move and when you place it near the surface of the large ring, it's actually floating. Furthermore, it is spinning, even though it is not touching the surface. That is the Searle Effect technology at work, and we're proving it, demonstrating it. This is what we call proof of concept. So we, what we have here is a new type of generator that is really a converter, just like a hydroelectric dam is converting energy from stored in, in, in a water reservoir and it's being harnessed, released, and just like the um, a hydroelectric dam, the energy cycle is repeated. Electrical charges are processed, emitted into the air, and because the center is positive, it's attracted back to the center, and by the time they arrive to the reservoir, they are kinetically recharged. And what do you think the size is going to be of one that could ultimately like power a home? Car. The smallest one we can design is a 51 kilo, kilowatt generator, mm -hmm. and that's enough for a home. There are three stages, second and third. The first feeds the second, and the second feeds the third. Gotcha. And by the time you get to this stage, you got a 15 kilowatt generator, and that's ideal for homes. Imagine that, powering your own home and not having to worry about brownouts or uh, weather and that's the ideal uh, situation for any homeowner. Right. Having your own home. In the yeah. desert, in the mountains. Indeed. You don't have to be connected to the grid. Indeed. That's in fact, you can make yourself at home in the desert. It, it, this technology could turn a desert into an oasis for you. You're no longer dependent on the grid. Yeah, take a hint from that, Las Vegas. <laughs> this is the kind of technology that some may call free energy. Uh, but we should clear that up. What, there's nothing free about a, uh, a product that's out in manufacturing. It has to be paid for. But there is an advantage in the sense that this technology does not, uh, is, the parts don't wear out, so you're free of, you don't have maintenance issues. Furthermore, you don't have fuel costs. There is no gas tank to it. 
because it works at the quantum level. It actually harnesses the electrons, which have energy in small doses, but because it processes so many electrons that it's able to harness all the energy that we need by mechanical motion, which in turn, we have induction units that takes the electrical power and then it's then forwarded over to conventional uh, devices, whatever it is, household items. So only in the sense that the energy is already around us, just like free energy from uh, a solar panel, free energy from the sun. But you still have the cost to consider in terms of developing the solar panels, installing it, and maintaining it. We're just saying that this technology is a far better option than any other because you don't have uh, interference from the weather, the ma you don't have maintenance issues, or the fuel cost. This is really a humanitarian effort to, to get this into third world countries where people need the energy, where there aren't uh, dams or enough water for hydroelectric dams, where there isn't enough money or materials for solar panels. We need to get this type of technology and new opportunities for people to create new jobs and uh, uh, a new way of doing things. And as far as the consumer is concerned, all they have to do is uh, make a one-time purchase and you got a generator for life because we've proven here that the, the generator operates on a magnetic bearing. There is no wear indeed. There's nothing to prevent it from working indefinitely. Uh, you can hand it over to your kids and that gives it um, a huge advantage over any other product that we know of. Well, there you have it. That's a look at the future of clean and renewable energy being developed right here in San Diego. I wish these guys the best of luck, and it looks like they have a great future ahead of them. I'm Horacio Jones, and I'll catch you next time.